Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trailmakers, and today we're going to be reinventing the Gatling gun. Now, uh, this is the closest thing to the way a Gatling gun functions that I've already made, and uh, basically my impression of, like, a, a standard Gatling gun design is you have a bunch of barrels that are kind of rotating like this, and they shoot when the barrel lines up at a certain point. In this case, there's a sensor that triggers the cannons at the bottom. Uh, and this was supposed to be a, a Gatling gun powered plane. I made a video about this sometime very long ago. It doesn't appear to work anymore, but it did in the video. I'm sure you can search for it if you really want to see it. But I got to thinking, what if Gatling guns worked differently? Instead of all the barrels being on the same side of a rotating surface like this, uh, what if they were kind of like pointing outwards from the center of a wheel and then as they spun around they would fire when it's facing forward? So I kind of want to create a plane that utilizes this idea. It's, it's gonna it's gonna have to be somewhat massive to accommodate what I'm thinking here, but I think this is gonna be a really fun concept and also I gotta figure out how to counteract torque. I might need to double up the, the Gatling guns. All right, so to build this, first let's make a conceptual prototype. I'm not gonna be focusing on the plane right now. I'm just gonna be focusing on the actual gun itself. So I'm just gonna build something that anchors into the ground. I think we're gonna use rotating servos to start off with because they'll probably rotate at a constant rate. All right, so as far as the cannons go, this is where things are gonna get interesting. I'm gonna want uh, some type of thing here to make it 45 degrees. All right, whatever I just did there, I think it works. I just realized this is probably also gonna be an aerodynamic nightmare. Oh yeah, check that out. That looks good. Um, so now, ooh, the sensors. Sensors are gonna be interesting. I gotta add sensors to this thing. We need to make sure that each of these cannons only gets triggered exactly at the point that we want it to get triggered. All right, there we go. I've made it so now the sensor should detect it right when it's pretty much facing straight ahead. So now let's just hook up each sensor into its corresponding cannon. And this should, in theory, be the Gatling gun I've been looking for. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a thing. How did I fix that? Oh my goodness. It's not the most consistent. It's definitely not the most accurate spray, but you know what, sometimes that's just how guns are. They don't, they have a spread, you know? But I actually think I need to use a logic on this to make it so that they don't fire unless I'm pressing the button to make them fire. All right, so this just got a little bit more complicated because I need to have an AND gate for every single cannon in order for this to work. All right, I think I got it all hooked up. Yeah, but now you can see that even if the sensor is on, it is not gonna fire unless I start spinning it. So whenever I press the space bar, that is the only time it starts firing. And that is because of all of this logic uh, on the other side right here. It is spazzing out like crazy right now because of the anchor blocks. But I think we got our basic design. Now somehow I have to put this in a flying vehicle. I think it's gonna be kind of epic. Well, wait, no, before we even get there, how fast can I make this thing go? Because I think each of these cannons takes one second to fire. So I need this thing to be able to rotate once a second. Oh, look at that. That is a much faster fire rate. All right, so if we go up from there to like 1.5, we might actually fire slower. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, okay, so I think one, we're just gonna keep it at one. That seems to be a safe bet. All right, so here it is, the standalone Gatling gun. Now I have the challenge of building a plane off of this thing. Look at how massive this thing is compared to a plane seat. Oh, this is gonna be kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, the answer to that is a resounding yes. This is probably gonna have so much torque as well. Uh oh, I'm gonna blow myself up here. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I've realized a fatal flaw with this design right here. I have zero attachment points over here to utilize right now. And not only that, but this whole thing would kind of be spinning anyway. So how do I attach these? 
All right, I figured it out. I just had to move one of these blocks sideways, and I'm hoping that these servos are gonna rotate at exactly the same speed as each other because I need to cancel them out. If I got some wings over on this side, will those wings stay li- Oh, that does not look good already. Oh, that's opposite, hold on. All right, um... I mean, it seems to be doing its job. Wait a minute, what happened here? Why am I missing what? Oh, hold on. A bunch of these are reversed now. There we go. All right, that's fixed. All right, it does appear that the wing is staying in the right position, except when it initially spawned in, it appears to get unlevel. See, it's facing down a little bit now. Why does it do that? You know what, I'm just gonna roll with this and hope for the best. Okay, yeah, we definitely got a problem. If you look carefully, you'll see that the left side wing and the right side wing are not on the same angle. And even, look at, oh man, look at that. That is terrible. That is just not gonna do. They try to maintain the set. Oh yeah, this is, there's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna give us so much roll that we don't want. Um, there's one other solution to this that I can imagine, and that would require replacing, yeah, this entire rotating servo would have to get replaced with a helicopter servo. There's one small issue with helicopter servos though, and that is that uh, they don't have a constant speed like the rotating servos do. So that's way faster than I need it to be, that's for sure. So check this out, I put the power way down on the servo, so now check it out. So now it actually kind of works almost more realistically, and I'm realizing that one of these uh, hinges needs to be rotated. Um, this works kind of almost more realistically in the sense that now it has a ramp up before it gets to full speed, kind of like miniguns you do, at least in video games. I've never shot a real one, believe it or not. But in video games, you usually have to hold the button down before it gets up to max power. But check this out. This is pretty cool. And now I think the wings should be level because they are attached straight through the with these helicopter servos. All right, so let's see if we can take off now. Oh my God, look at them rotate. Okay, yeah, so now we have level flight. <laughs> uh, when it comes to roll, obviously pitch is, is non-existent right now. All right, here we go. I've got the tail put on. We've got our control surfaces. So now let us see if this thing is capable of flying. The maiden voyage. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad start. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. Um, wow. There's actually a lot more lift in the front than I thought there was going to be. I put extra wings in the front than I normally would have because I thought the cannons were gonna be super heavy. All right, well, let's uh, fire up the cannons, even though I've really got to adjust how this thing flies. I mean, I have my controls. All of this does work pretty well, uh, but let's see if the cannons actually work. Here we go. Um. Oh my goodness, they take a while to get go. All right, that's interesting. The air, the, the air speed seems to really affect. Oh my god, the accuracy is terrible. Why are they crossing in the front like that? What is going on here? Okay, this is not at all working the way I thought it was going to work, but let's increase the power. All right, and go, come on. Too much. That is way too much, unless we want burst. And wow, this is inconsistent. This is so, why is this so inconsistent? There's some really weird stuff happening. It is time to do some massive tweaks. All right, I've done some tweaking and I've done some painting and I have the flight pretty well balanced, at least when it's not shooting. I've noticed that and it stands to reason that when I start spinning them here, I'm gonna start spinning them now. As they start gaining more torque spinning forward, I definitely start to lift up, which that's just the counter torque. We should expect that, but if we look at the trajectory, it is all over the place, but it does seem to mostly be higher than I want it to be. So fortunately, that is exactly why I put these uh, two steering hinges in here. If I adjust the, the angle of these steering hinges. Oh yeah, I can't do it less than five. We really need to be able to go to zero on these things. 
All right, I'm just gonna turn them off. So they're not, they should just be zero degrees by default. All right, so now the steering hinges are not set to any uh, degree and we should be more directly in front of us. Huh. Some of them do. Some of them fire directly straight ahead. Some of them fire up still. Up a lot, surprisingly. Here, let's go into first person or top of seat. Actually, that's not too bad. Oh my goodness. What? The speed is so inconsistent on the Gatling gun. But it seemed... Oh, wow. That was really weird. It seems like when I... Yeah, that makes sense. When I pitch back in full... Actually, that's really weird. It had the opposite effect there. But man, oh, look at this. There... It depends on what I've done with my pitch. Sometimes they go down. Oh, look at that. So they spin really... Oh. That's in... Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened here? I don't even know what just happened. I just all of a sudden lost all my control. All right, let's go into third person. It seems like when I go sideways uh, and start pitching, that is when they start to spin a lot. What? What? What, what just happened there? Somehow I shot my own tail off, which makes zero sense to me. Yeah, wow, it really doesn't like it when I turn my plane sideways. It's kind of cool, though, at the same time. The sporadic nature of it actually kind of makes it feel more intimidating. Even though it would be a little bit annoying <laughs> to control. But when I'm going nice and level, it's really consistent. It keeps a consistent fire rate. Although the aim is still wildly inconsistent. But as soon as I turn sideways... This is when everything gets all over the place. And somehow that sends bullets off in random directions. Like, how did that just happen? They should only be able to fire facing forward. That makes no sense at all. This is a really fun creation. I have to try to destroy something with this. I don't know how easy that's going to be. The aim is so all over the place, but yet it covers such a wide area that it could just be shotgun style where it just it's not that bad. All right, let's come in for a landing. Oh my God. I like how they kind of act as wheels. See, that is the benefit of reinventing the Gatling gun. Because now, not only is it a Gatling gun, but it can also be used as landing gear. Multifunctional. All right, I am going to tweak it a little bit. I think one thing I need to do is actually make this a bit longer. I think the tail is too close to the front of the plane. All right, so I've tweaked and fine-tuned it one final time, and I think I'm ready to try to rain down destruction on, uh, this is from the multiplayer BattleBot, or not BattleBot, but Destruction Derby Evolution. It's just a monstrosity of a vehicle, so I figured if anything is going to be uh, an easy target, it's going to be that and it gets very small very quickly as we fly away. All right, so I'm still having the issue though where just inexplicably a cannon will fire backwards when I'm like banking. So I don't know what's causing that necessarily. Maybe doing this, uh, it changes this. Oh, it does change the center detection sometimes. Interesting, there must be some torquing going on sideways that causes the center to get closer to the body somehow. Well, I don't think there's much I could do about that. But holy cow, we started off firing really, really fast. All right, let's see if we can rain down destruction on this uh, destruction derby car, if we even want to call it that. Come on. Oh, there we go. We did some damage. We really did do some damage. Come on, pick up some speed. Ooh, that was good. We definitely did some there. Let's see how this feels. Oh, no. Oh, no. I came in too low, I think. Ooh! That was actually really good. That was a good hit. Oh! That was like a direct hit. That thing is just... It's just a jumble of parts now as if it really looks any different than it started out with. It pretty much was built as a jumble, a jumble of parts. All right, this looks like a good trajectory here. Come on, get some hits, get some hits. Yeah, ooh, that was devastating. It is pretty much blocks now. So let's come in for a landing. Let's see if I can actually land this plane successfully. I think the Gatling guns, I don't have any. Are you serious? 
the chances of what just happened are so small. I stopped firing seconds ago and somehow one of the bullets that was flying up in the air ended up landing directly on top of the plane. We slow motion replay that right now. Oh, that was amazing. So much for coming in for a nice smooth landing, huh? Oh, look at taking off from first person. This is pretty cool. I cannot believe that actually happened. Uh, all right, so I actually, <laughs> I actually want to try to land this thing like I planned. I could, I could not, I could not do that again if I tried. That's for sure. That was amazing. All right, here we go. We're coming in for a landing now. All right. This is it. This is a good trajectory. Right down the runway. And, oh, oh, ugh, oh, not comfortable. Definitely not comfortable. Or maybe I just didn't do it right. Maybe that just takes a little bit more expertise. It's something. All right, well, what do you guys think of this? This is the new take on uh, Gatling gun weaponry, and it actually turned out to be pretty successful as all things considered. I'm always a big fan of unusual concepts for vehicles and weapons and things like that, if you couldn't already tell by the nature of my channel. So if you guys have any other ideas that you'd like to see me tackle in any game, really, whether it be trail makers or scrap mechanic or I don't know, something else, leave those ideas down in the comments below and, uh, Who knows? Maybe I'll do it in another video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Band, and I'll see you next time. Bye.